today we're gonna to be dropping these two giant traps at my dock for over 24 hours. I'm talking 24 to 72 hours to see what we can catch and we're doing it in a very cool way. Let's jump into the video and catch some cool stuff. See, we got our two crab traps here. I've caught fish in them before. We're gonna call them crab traps for the sake of simplicity. Now, we have our new one, which is right here, the green one, and we have our old one, the old trusty steed, the, uh, the black one. So we have two different traps and we're gonna be doing something very special, Ask and You Shall Receive, guys. You guys wanted to see this video, so we are gonna make it happen. We're doing a three-day drop-off of these traps with two different baits. We're gonna be using fish and the world-famous crab trap bait, chicken. Everyone was saying chicken and chicken liver and chicken thighs are the best bait for catching big, giant blue crabs. So that is what we're gonna be testing today. And we got a box of goodies here. Obviously, we're gonna do fish, we're gonna do sardines. Spanish sardines, keep it simple. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. We got sardines. Different kinds of, three different kinds of chickens here. Two are the same and one is different. We have drumsticks, chicken drumsticks, and we have wings that were buy one get one free it was like it was meant to be buy one get one free on chicken wings here so it's honestly a perfect amount we want to stuff these traps till they're literally gonna explode i want so much bait to be as much bait as possible to be inside of this trap so before we get started start your engines ladies and gentlemen get down in the comments comment down below which one don't watch the video don't skip ahead don't cheat which bait do you think is gonna do do better? Which bit, which bait is gonna catch more crabs, chicken or fish? You let me know, drum roll please, go down in the comments and, and vote now before you watch the end of the video, see if you were right. And uh, it's gonna be exciting. So, chicken or fish, comment down below. Water is absolutely gorgeous today. Super clear for some reason, even though we've had not the most amount of rain, but we've had some rain. And uh, I guess they're not opening the spillways because look how clear this water is. It's honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. I love having crystal clear water at the dock. Now you may be noticing what the heck is missing. What's wrong with your dock? Does my dock look weird? I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys think my dock looks weird. Pretty weird, right? Huh? You notice anything? The boat's gone. It sank. The boat sank, we have no more boat. No, I'm kidding. I did drop the boat off for um, service and to get the bottom repainted and to get a new live well pump because it stopped working. So I'm getting a new pump, I'm getting a new bottom for the boat and I'm getting uh, some servicing done on the engines. So it's gonna be huge for us. Then we can get back out on the water and go fishing offshore because we haven't been in a while because I've kind of been putting off the, uh, the service. But I got it done, I brought the boat in and hopefully we should get that thing back up and running so we can do some offshore videos really, really soon. The bite's about to get really hot. Um, the Wahoos are gonna be chewing like crazy. Hopefully gonna get this uh, boat back before the next full moon so we can get out there and uh, crush those wahoos now the funny thing is i mentioned all oh, my boat sank my first boat that i got actually sank so let's just it, it can happen to anybody it wasn't even like i was driving offshore and the boat sank it was literally docked up at my dock and some guy did work on it left a hole a small hole in the boat i took it out that day while it was sinking and without realizing i was like this boat feels kind of heavy i was i was running the boat in the in the ocean it felt really heavy that day for some reason it's scary to think about that i could have sank out there in the ocean I was running the boat back and forth. I was like, this is strange. It feels like there's a weight on the back of this boat. Pulled it up to the dock. It looked normal, it was sit, still sitting in the water. I did tell you know the guy, hey, can you check out, watch the boat a little bit throughout the night because it's being a little weird. Next morning, I go back in the morning to go fishing. The boat is literally underwater, sank, completely sank. My first center console, 25 foot sea fox, sank to the bottom of the canal. Total loss, absolutely insane guys. So be careful out there on the water. You never know what can happen to your boat. A little chip in the hole, thing can go down. Some activity at the dock. There's a lot of snappers today and a ton of glass minnows, but they're lucky I'm not going for them today. We're just going for, look, there's a nice grunt. Nice blue stripe grunt. We are just going for the crabs, the big monster crabs, but really any fish can swim inside that trap. I've literally caught catfish in there. So we're praying that we actually get some crabs. Cause like I mentioned in my last video, I haven't seen the crabs in months. I don't know what happened to those guys. They're just like extinct for some reason. So we're gonna do it our all. We're gonna give it our all. And uh, I think this time I'm actually gonna cut up some Dean. So those juices are flowing real nice in the canal. Here's our Dean bucket. This thing is gonna be absolutely beautiful when we're done with it. It's gonna be gorgeous, just full of Deans. It's gonna be like fish heaven in this bucket. As always, these guys were in the freezer, so there's, it's literally gonna be a giant rock of sardines. But once we get them defrosted, it should be very easy to cut them up, put them in the trap, and that's that. Bang, just like that. We got a beautiful block 
of Dean's. Filling her up. Now, I don't know if this doesn't catch crabs. I don't know, guys. The chicken, the chicken might do wonders. I've seen a lot of people talking about how good the chicken is. So let's see, we got our Dean bucket. Now we're gonna move on to our chicken bucket and get that thing looking real nice. I haven't used chicken yet ever, so hopefully that'll be good. All right, whoever's team chicken, there's our chicken bucket. Shout out hashtag team chicken in the comments if you're team chicken, hashtag team Deans if you're team sardines. So I think I'm team chicken today, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's gonna really be the difference maker. It could really prove to be an excellent crab bait. The good old fashioned chicken. Now I do need to make sure I'm washing my hands after this adventure because raw chicken, you do not want to get raw chicken in your mouth and get uh, you know, salmonella or something, that would suck. So here's our first batch of chicken, bang. So nice chicken breast. Second batch of chicken, down the hatch, some more chicken breast. Ooh, that one looks real nice. Nice and veiny, mmm, yummy. Now we got the drumsticks. I think these are gonna be really what's gonna call them. The drumsticks. Oh my gosh, these are frozen. Come on, get out there. Get out there. Ugh, I got chicken in my fingernails, dude, that's bad. I better wash my hands, man. I better wash my hands right now. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna drop this fish trap right here and uh, see what's living in these waters because it's guaranteed that there's some sort of living organism in this water. Look at this water, dude. Little pool update for everyone who didn't watch the uh, other video. Getting my pool redone. The tiles look pretty nice, pretty clean, but this water looks like it's from freaking Chernobyl, bro. This looks like nuclear waste. It's pretty nasty, dude. I bet you if I put a fish trap in there, we'd probably catch the Loch Ness Monster out of this pool. And that's an abandoned pool if I've ever seen. She's getting, she's getting work done. She's getting work done. While we're defrosting, you know, we're defrosting our bait. You never know what could be living in this, dude. We could have uh, the second Rona virus in here growing in the pool, because that looks very like nuclear waste. But she's looking good, dude. Look at the tiles. I got my blue tiles on there. It looks nice. Hopefully they come and finish this thing and uh, we can fill her up with salt water and have a giant saltwater pond. Because honestly, that would be the coolest thing in the damn world. Giant saltwater pond in my backyard. Just worried about the algae maybe. Algae would grow like crazy, but. Hey, I told you guys to go crazy on that last video. 100,000 likes and I'll do it. So go back and watch that video. Drop a like on it. Let's get to 100K likes on that and we'll turn that thing into a giant saltwater pond. Look at that chicken. I think that looks amazing. That looks delicious. I mean, I would eat that. The crabs better eat that. The deans, not so much. Pretty non-appetizing. So once again, place your bets. I'm giving you all this opportunity to place your bets on what you think is going to win. All right, our bait is almost ready. The chicken is just about defrosted. The deans are fully defrosted, as you can see. Those guys are absolute beautiful popsicles for our crabs. Now, you guys know when I throw my crab traps, I usually throw one off the boat. And I think this side is better than this side. So it's only fair to flip a coin to see who's gonna be closest to the south side of the dock. So, chicken is heads, sardines is tails. Flip a coin, it's heads, it's heads. Hold on, let me zoom in for you guys. Siri said, can you guys even see that? It's so dark out here. Hold on, there you go, it's heads. Siri said it's heads, so that means chicken is gonna be in the advantage position and sardines will be in the non-advantage position. I don't think it'll matter too much, but the track record shows that this side is better for the traps. All right, we got our deans and our trap, and we are going to load this guy up with as many as we can fit in there. I'm talking stuff this thing. And these deans look rather, rather cute, rather sexy. So as many as we can fit in the uh, bait container here is what we're gonna do. So that's already like, it's already like 10 in there. It's a good amount. We're gonna try to just put as many as we can fit. We want it to be an even, an even match. So we're gonna fit as many as we can for both traps. I don't know, dig. I don't know, guys. This looks pretty juicy for a crab. If I was a crab and I needed a meal, and I smelt this down uh, downstream here, I would eat it. So we're putting a bunch in there. Oh yeah, we're even smashing them a little bit. That's probably half the sardine block in there. Boom! I think we did. I think. I mean, it's sticking out the top. That's pretty decent looking trap right there. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. It's seeping out the bottom. And since Dean's lost the coin toss, they're gonna go by the jet ski dock over here. They're in the non-advantage position, which is fine. It's fine. They're gonna be, they're gonna be fine. So it's not that big of a disadvantage, but it's still a disadvantage. Here we go. Trap number one with the sardines going in. Now I'm trying to throw that as deep as possible to, uh, cause the crabs do like the the cooler water, they like staying in the shallow, in the depths. And uh, 
I usually see them more towards the middle of the canal. So there goes that trap. Trap number one secured. Tie her off to the jet ski here. Hopefully we don't catch a, uh, a man-eating crab because they'll take the jet ski right into the water. Okay, trap number one is secured. Oh my God, I almost just went in the freaking water. Holy cow, that would have sucked. I'm getting barked at by my neighbor's dog. It's one of my favorite things ever. All right, now onto the chicken trap. All right, we've got our chicken trap now. This should be really, really tasty looking. So we have our chicken wings. Mmm, those look good. Now, once again, I'm gonna try to stuff this with as many chicken as as many chickens as possible. So we have some good small little drumsticks that we can throw in there that will, look at this, they fit perfectly. I don't think we're gonna get as many chicken, as much chicken in here as we did sardines because of the uh, bones that they have. The, the sardines are almost like, you can just break them easily. These are hard chicken bones. So I think that's pretty much all we could fit in there. Ooh, we have a couple wings here. We can get in a couple flats, a couple flats. Now also let me know how in the comments, are you a drumstick guy or are you a flat guy? When I go to the get, to get wings, I say flats only. I'll pay the extra like $2 that they charge me to, to do flats only. Flats only for me, baby. I'm sorry. I don't like the drumsticks. I'm a flats guy. Okay, perfect. We are good. Our chicken is locked and loaded. Now it's time to drop this trap. All right, here we go. We're gonna tie this trap off with the rope here. We're not gonna use my boat rope because then my boat will get all dirty when I tie it back up. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna throw it in the advantage position, the known spot to catch crabs. Here we go. It's as deep as I can get it. I usually can get it much deeper when I have the boat here. It's actually it's gonna have to be quite shallow, which is a bummer because we really wanted it to be deeper, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Tie this off really tight because we don't wanna lose our trap. Lock it in place and there you go. We have ourselves a gorgeous double setup crab trap 1v1 matchup chicken versus sardines. Let's see who wins. All right, so we can say that the chicken trap is in the advantage position, which technically it is, but it isn't at the same time because look at how shallow it is compared to, you know, if the boat was here, it would be kind of like maybe right there and instead it's here. So it is really shallow. The crabs are kind of shy. So we shall see, look at the glass minnows going crazy. Is something under the dock eating them? I've never seen that. Oh my God, those are big boys too. Jesus, could fish uh, fish that thing offshore, man. That's an offshore bit. Oh my God, crazy looking puffer right there. Psycho looking puffer, that's a rare puffer. That's a rare puffer fish. We're gonna try to catch him. We're gonna try to catch him. I never see these guys at the dock. Wow, this could be a good catch guys. Okay, this is a very interesting situation because we don't usually see these puffers here. This is one that I usually only see offshore or, you know, I've seen them here before, but seeing one like right there is rare. And it did take me some time to get a sardine out of the, uh, oh my God, he's at the, ch he's at the chicken thing. He's at the chicken trap trying to get inside of it. He's at the chicken trap trying to get inside of it. So I had to be quick. I wish I could show you guys right now, but I can't do a million things at once. I wish I could show you what he's doing. He's trying to get inside of the chicken trap. No, I'm getting freaking getting wrecked by, uh oh, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat my, is that my hook though? Where's my hook? No, he bit it off, he bit it off. He bit it off. Guys, we have a chance at this. We have a chance at this puffer fish right now. We have a chance. I'm gonna use the head of the sardine. We are gonna use the head of the sardine and see if we can get it down to him because the body of the sardine is just breaking apart. He's literally, he wants to go inside the trap. We might actually catch this puffer fish in, you know, tomorrow when we, if we pull these traps tomorrow. Um, he could be easily inside of this. He's clearly smelling the chicken. He's staying right around the trap. And let's see, my camera's gonna overheat and die here, but he's kind of a small dude too. He's not like a giant giant. Oh, he's swimming away. He's swimming out deep kind of. I think we missed him guys. I hope I got him on the camera for a second. He swam out to the deep depths. He swam out to the depths. But I have been noticing more weird fish around my dock ever since I got the lights. Bummer, but he might be in this trap when we pull it, so. I've caught him before. I've caught one of those, those puffer fish before. I'll roll some video of what it actually looks like. It's kind of like a big spiky looking puffer fish and it's a really, really cool fish. And I do like catching them for you guys because that's like not a normal puffer fish. The normal ones are already all over the traps. Let's give this 24 to 72 hours. I'm gonna incrementally check the traps. If we have any uh, big catches in there, I'll show you guys. Let's see what we have in these traps in a couple days. 48 hours later, literally 48 hours later, we've made zero, zero progress. I like giving you guys pool updates for some reason. I don't know why, it's nice. He, he's taking a couple chisels out of the bottom. Slow work in progress. My diving board looks as good as ever though, as good as ever. So there's the pool update for two, two days later. We're gonna check the traps. You guys need to let me know down in the comments right now. You better vote right now. 
which one do you think is going to have the, mo the, mo the most amount of crabs? Is it the chicken or is it the fish? The sardines or the chicken? Comment now. Don't cheat. I will know if you cheat and I will ban you from the comments. No, I would never do that, but <sighs> which one do we pull first? Me and my garage. I'm going to make a video. This is just me and my garage. Or my, this is me and my dock. Shout out to Ty Lopez. I ran into you at the hotel that one time. Shout out to you, Ty. No, he didn't recognize me. I thought you said it. No, I just said that in the Instagram post. So. <laughs> I took a selfie with Ty. I recognized Ty, and then I took a selfie with him, and I said, oh my god, Ty wanted to take a selfie with me. It was funny, okay? It was hilarious. Obviously, he didn't recognize me. I recognized him, but it was just funny because he saw my story on Instagram when I totally was like doing it backwards. So, all right, we're going with the sardines first. We're gonna pull this up, see if we have crabs. My personal vote is I think the chicken's gonna have a crab, at least a crab because we've been using sardines every single time and fish and it hasn't caught crabs in months, months. But you never know. You never know what we're in store for. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll please, Jack, please. This is the moment we've been waiting for, or I've been waiting for for two days. For two days I've been waiting for this. I don't wanna spoil the surprise, I'm just gonna drag it up. Drag it up to you guys. Here we go. I hope there's, I hope there's crabs in here. I mean, I, I used to be the master crab catcher. What happened to me? I'm in a slump with the crabs. I don't see any white. Jack. I don't see any white. I don't see any white. Nothing. Nothing. No. Literally, look at the look at the sardines. They're gonna smell really bad, by the way. Like it's gonna be the worst smell you've ever smelled, Jack. They are chewed to nothingness. Wow. There's literally just spines left. You can't see it? What if I open the door? Yeah. I'm gonna open the door. It smells like there's, this is toxic. That's how bad the smell is. Oh. It's literally just spines. So something was in here eating this. Was it a crab? Probably not because it would have gotten, it would not have gotten out if it was a crab. So that is a fail. Oh my God, okay. The only thing to redeem us is the chicken. The chicken must redeem us. Holy cow, guys, that smells so bad. It smells like a literal, it is a rotting corpse, technically. And if this was what a rotting corpse smells like, oh my God, there's a spine stuck in the trap and we're gonna have to use our hands to get it out. That's gonna be horrible. I can't let myself come to that. I've come a long way from I don't like to touch and that is the where I draw the line. That is where I draw the line. So you know what? Let's let mother nature do the work for us and something will enjoy that spine, but it won't be me. That's for sure. Now we're onto the chicken. Chicken. We're onto the chicken. It's KFC over here. It's KFC at this house. KFC. There may or may not be a crab in here. I think there might be a crab in there. I'm not 100% confident though. Can you see in the water? I am not 100% confident. No crab. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Nothing has got crabs. We have three catfish, three puffer fish. I'm gonna let these guys go. We're dropping the traps again. 24 hours, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. I can't let, I can't let, I can't get skunked by two. So far, bad baits by both. We're gonna drop this back in. I'll see you guys in another 48 hours. See you guys, you're not the species I'm looking for. That's a hoss catfish though. Puffer, get out of there. Get out of there, Puffer. Okay, that chicken looks, mmm, scrumptious. That, whoa, big fly on me. We dropped the trap. I'm gonna have to rebait these guys tonight and we will find out. We still have not found out who is the better bait because both of them suck. The crabs have eluded us. I'm gonna reset these guys and I'll see you guys in another 48 hours. I don't stop until we catch a crab. 24 hours later, it's bright in the morning as you can see. A little swollen. That's all right though. We got the guys working on the pool so it might be a little loud out there. I might have to voice over this part but another 24 hours has passed. I'm gonna check the sardine trap first. I only, I only had like a couple sardines left, so I'm super, I'll be surprised if there's even any sardines in the trap. Then we're gonna pull the chicken trap. <sighs> Place your bets. Last night was a fail. Nothing in the sardine trap, so that's done. Sardines a fail, guys. Do not ever do the sardines. It doesn't work. Let's go on to the chicken. Chicken trap, come on, you're my last hope. Oh my God, we have a crab. Let's go, let's go. The chicken. Ew, the chicken's so gross, dude. Look how slimy that chicken is. Oh my God, I cannot believe there's a crab in here. Three days. Three days, not a single, single sign of life. The chicken smells so bad. Yes, got him. Dispose of this disgust. Look at that, it's straight bones. Straight bones. Oh my God, that's so, that's so nasty. That's so nasty. It smells worse than the sardines, if you can believe it. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
I'm in the danger zone here. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. Guys, talk about a comeback after 72 hours, pretty much 72 hours. We got ourselves a crab who's feisty as ever in, <laughs> look at this guy, he's got some serious spunk, in the chicken trap. I knew it, I knew it. Whoever voted chicken down in the comments, you are the real MVP. You guys won the challenge today. Chicken is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby. Winner, winner, chicken dinner all day. Now grabbing this guy and showing you up close is gonna be an issue because look how just, look how just dangerously quick these guys are. Dangerously quick, like extreme danger. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to hold him. He's that fast. Let's see if we can even hold him. He's so wicked fast. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Crab. Pinched by this guy, I know it. He's so feisty. I'm so scared of these things, dude. A fish I can deal with. A crab? Whole nother level of psycho. Because it probably hurts so bad when they get you. Okay, don't swing your arms, brother. It's the best I can do. He's preoccupied with the net. Look at that blue crab. Got some bright blue colors on him. Absolutely came in clutch. The chicken trap, baby. The chicken trap. So here is our blue crab that we caught out of the chicken trap. Thank God, these guys are such a rare find nowadays. I'm talking rare. Look at that, I'm holding the blue crab. I'm holding the blue crab. That is terrifying. Uh, yeah, check out the back. Look how deep blue those claws are. Just absolutely jet blue, such a sick looking crab. If these guys weren't so aggressive and didn't get big so quickly, I'd probably have a bunch in the ponds, but they're just too mean for anything. Guys, this crab smells so bad. Oh my God. He smells like the chicken that we, we, we put in the trap. Like he smells so bad. I'm gonna freaking vomit. God damn, he stinks. Guys, I, I, it's literally right in the morning. I'm, I have a little bit of a morning sickness going on. Literally, if this, if this smell is on my hands throughout the day, I will vomit. Cause you guys know I skip breakfast and lunch. So I'm already queasy to begin with. So we're gonna try it with the gloves. Please, sir. Now this guy is actually, we're gonna see if my fish like eating crab. We're gonna test this guy out, see if they can actually eat the crab. So first thing we're gonna do is take the claws off of the crab. Look at this guy. Look at Mr. Krabs here. Look at the size of the crab, dude. That's a big one. They get so much bigger too, that's the crazy part. He's got some insane claws on him. Let's take this claw off so you guys can see it. Now people love eating these guys. Me, Jack, and Brooke actually ate them before and they're pretty delicious, pretty delicious. So you can eat these guys head to toe. They got tons of meat in them and they're really good. I liked eating them with butter. That's why I got the high cholesterol. I like butter on everything. Oh my God, maximum amount of butter. Trust me, let's take this claw off. Look at this, look at those claws. Look, the color is just unreal. Now how a lot of people do it is they literally just peel the top off of the crab. So the, if, if I was gonna eat them, he would have already been steamed, but because I'm feeding it to my fish, peel this off. Look, he's, look at that chicken. Look at the chicken he ate. That's so nasty, right? That's oh the God. that's the chicken from the fish trap in his in his belly. So this stuff is the gills. You don't eat that. Usually when you boil them or whatever, you make sure to take these out. That's how he breathes. And then when we do it, we always put it over pasta and stuff. Shout out to Nana, Brooke's grandma. She would die if I was feed, if she saw me feeding this to the fish right now. She'd be, oh my God, that's a sin. That's a sin. <laughs> she loves this. She'll take, she, we'll have like a big mountain of crabs when we have family dinners and stuff and we're eating crabs. She eats like 20 crabs and then all the corpses she saves and she's like, I put it in a pasta. Pasta sauce, she makes pasta sauce out of the blue crabs. So she said, I put it in a pasta sauce. So very Italian and this meat right here on the sides under this is all slim pickings, but right there. So when you boil them and you're actually eating them like yourself, it's all gonna just fall right off the shell. One little piece of crab meat right here. Let's see if my fish like to eat crabs. I am so surprised that we only caught one, but at least we caught one. I mean, it used to be I used to drop that trap for only like 12 hours. There used to be four or five crabs in there. I don't know what happened. There's a mass extinction event of crabs. Emperor Snapper, have you ever tried blue crab? It's a delicacy here in Florida now. They're all extinct. You're gonna enjoy this. So here's a crab, crab meat. And let's see if he wants to have some of this stuff. Did I hand feed him? Oh my God, oh my God. I can't hand feed him, right? He's just gonna bite me. Brother, brother, are you gonna want some crab? I'm just gonna drop it to him. Oh my God, he smoked it. He loves it, he loves it. Now the best part is I have a whole crab in there that I'm gonna dissect and get all the meat out and feed it to this guy, get him stuffed and nice and fat and big. 
Crab, extremely high protein, so that's gonna help him grow. I wish we caught more, because I would've totally ate them, and then uh, had a bunch of meat for this guy. That would've been a good time. But we at least got one trap with the crab in it, guys. One trap, the chicken is officially, boom, the next best thing. So, now, should we do chicken versus steak and wean out all the, all the best baits until we get to the number one bait? You guys let me know down in the comments. I'm definitely gonna wait a couple months to do it again because I want these crabs to maybe repopulate a little bit. I don't know what they're doing over there. But next up, let me know, let me know what you guys wanna see next in the comments, which, what the matchup should be. Chicken versus steak, I think that's a great matchup. That could do very well. We could do chicken versus liver. We could do a bunch of different stuff. Let me know down in the comments and we can maximize our crab catching skills. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.